from the News Center in high definition. This is News Channel 8 on your side today. Tampa has a quite a rich history involving everything from celebrities, yes, to the mob. Coming up, we'll take you to a restaurant that's been a part of Tampa's history for more than 100 years. We're coming up on 610. You're watching News Channel 8 today. This year marks the 105th anniversary of Ybor City's famous Columbia restaurant. Also, a new book chronicles its ups and downs. I talked with the founder's great-grandson to see just what those walls would say if they could tell a century's worth of stories. She will remember like I do, and my daughter does, all of a sudden one day when she was here. Richard Gonsmart is the fourth yes. generation in the Columbia restaurant's 105-year history. My great-grandfather came from his native country of Cuba in 1900 with his four young sons. No money, but the uh, came to Ybor City because he knew there was an opportunity here with the cigar industry bustling. Black and white photos dress the original room where the Columbia first opened its doors, showing 7th Avenue, the guests and entertainers that over the years have shared meals and conversations and memories. But the fate of the Columbia wasn't always so festive. Richard tells of tough times his family faced in a new book. And people say, why would you print something about the difficulties you faced? I said, because it's history. And it's that history that Richard wants to share. Right here is where Liza Minnelli and Joel Gray were. Uh, Fred McMurray was there. Jay North was there. I mean, every one of these tables almost has a memory for me. And Turns out there's a story behind what? much of what you see. And my dad found this piece. Um, and he bought it for $50. And my mother says, what are you going to do with that piece? It's huge. He says, don't worry, we'll find a place for it. So for years, it stood at the main entrance without this glass case. In 1976, when we had to get our antiques appraised, they said this should be in a museum. It's over 700 years old. And don't see, like this secret door. This is the original search warrant issued to Richard's grandfather back in 1929 during the days of the Prohibition. And this is actually a door leading to a stairway. And in the room above, the spirits were served. And from the art to the chandeliers to the pictures and of course the food, Richard says his attention to the past is the best way to ensure the Columbia's future. That's what we're trying to do is create memories for generations uh, to come. And you can kip, pick up a copy of the anniversary book titled The Columbia Restaurant at any of the Bay Area Columbia locations. I'll tell you even more about the family that started the Columbia tomorrow morning right here on News Channel 8 Today.